huge congratulations. You are the new Premier League champion. What are the emotions like right now? Just, I don't know what to do with the trophy. <laughs> um, I give it obviously give it to the crowd a bit and seeing the family. Um, but no, I, I didn't know what to do on there. It was heartbreak at the World Championship, not a nice feeling. But now six months on, lifting that, put it all to bed. Does it? The nightmare of Ali Pali. Yeah, the world was weird. I weren't really disappointed, like crying as I was when I won that then. Um, but I was disappointed at the world. And after that, after the break in the game, then I just I come out and said to myself, "This is it. You're on till the end." And I just had a spark of six, seven good legs. In that period, those legs you're talking about, do you feel absolutely unplayable at that point because you've absolutely obliterated the world champion and world number one, and he couldn't get near you? I think I played my best starts after after the break. Um, the first bit, I broke Luke twice, but he broke back. So going into the break, I could have been two legs clear, but I wasn't, so it was 5-5. Five, five. Um, but no, I just come out and just wanted to win it. Luke, when we spoke to Luke Humphreys, he said that in 10 years' time, it'll be a bit like Phil Taylor, it could be a bit boring, because you'll, you'll, you'll win everything. Do you feel like you could do that and just completely dominate the sport like he did? I could do, <laughs> but I'm just just enjoying it at the moment. I know I've won this tonight, um, but I'm just really enjoying it. And after you lifted the trophy, you, you turned to the crowd and said, to all the doubters out there, you're not doubting me now. Was that something that, that got on your skin a little bit when you saw people saying, oh, he's too young, he shouldn't be in the Premier League, this person should be in over him? Um, I was just, it was just one of those weird feelings saying I weren't good enough. Where I was, just got to the World Championship final, maybe I, I should be picked as I did and uh, accepted the invite and have gone on to win it. And I asked Luke Humphries this because he was a debutant in this Premier League. Your first Premier League as well. What were you doing 12 months ago in the Premier League final? Was you sitting down watching it? Did you ever imagine that you'd be lifting the trophy 12 months on? Didn't think, didn't think so. I was just watching it home on the telly. Luke, huge congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Luke, this might be an obvious question. Is this the best night of your life? 100%. <laughs> okay. So how do you follow this now? What, what else can be on the tick box now because we've seen it all in the last 141 days since the World Final and what's next what have you looked at straight away this is probably a bit unfair to ask you right now but <laughs> what, how do you think what do you think now I just look forward to all of it just enjoy everything um, obviously I go to New York on Monday but before that I watch United in the in the FA Cup um, but no I just can't wait to go to New York see what happens there and then just have a holiday for a week Luke, just describe the feeling when that winning double went in and also being able to, to share that moment with your family at the end as well. I just, I couldn't believe it. And then when I went when I went over to Luke, he, he said to me, just like you said to me, go celebrate with your family. So I did. And how will you celebrate this win now? Just, just chill at home. <laughs> <laughs> well, not home in the hotel. £275,000, the £40,000 bonuses. Any, any plans on how you spend that? Not really, not even planning on what time I'm going to bed tonight. <laughs> Luke, hi, I'm at BBC Sport. I know, I'm going to ask you about the nine data. Um, obviously, you go up and you, you do your job and you throw it, but when you've hit the first six perfectly, what's going through your head for the next three? Um, it's weird with me, because if the treble 20 goes, I'm kind of like, does this go in? The treble 19, because you've seen the 144 in a Euro Tour, that's a lot easier, because you're just staying on the 20s, but... I think that's one of the hardest things, dropping back down to the treble and going back up for double 12, but I did it. And when the last one hit, just describe the emotions. Oh, I just I just thought to myself, just don't do anything stupid, don't let all your all your energy out, so just give it a little come on and I still had five legs to win. You did still have five to win and, and you went in all, all tied, obviously, at the break, but you seemed to come out and find another gear. Were you conscious of that? Did you do anything differently? Where did that come from? I think it was like two legs in. I needed the toilet, so I was just, <laughs> I was just like, come on, just, just go in, just go into the break, get a lead. And I broke Luke twice, as I said, but he broke me back twice, and we went in five five. And like I said, I was just saying to myself, you, you're on it till the end now. So basically, hit a nine die. You just need to have a quick toilet break. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone wants to know. <laughs> you won. You know, this tonight, obviously the World Championship will be something on your mind, I'm sure, for the future. But when you're winning so much so young, how do you, how are you going to stay motivated to just keep your game at that high level? Just got to keep practising. Tonight is probably the most 
obviously I've practiced in a long time and it's paid off so I might have to start practicing at home um, but no I just keep going and keep enjoying it I had a few messages actually during the game um, because it was mentioned on stage a few times. I think there's some jokes about whether you were practicing or playing FIFA um, during the breaks. So you can tell us now because you've won. I was practicing 100%. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say to your family? We saw it on the big screen as you went down and you, 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 know, you embraced your family and your loved ones. What were the messages from you to them and them to you? I didn't even say it. I just burst out crying and just hugged them. So yeah, were you surprised at the emotion? Because from, you know, I can't speak for all the media, but for me personally, I met you a few times. You seem quite stoic, especially up there on the stage, and I did see tears in your eyes. Did that surprise you? Where do you think that came from? Um, it's just, just a family thing. Whenever I win something, I'll always go to them, and the emotions just come out, because my mum and my dad, they're the ones that put their own money into me, got me the sponsors that I've got today, and I can't thank them enough. Final question for me. We had a chat with um, you know, Luke Humphries about it, and we talk about rivalries now. He said he believes you two are the best players in, in the world. Um, firstly, do you, do you share that? Is that something you think? Um, potentially down the line. But obviously Wayne Maddell asked me last week why am I the best, and I just, just said no, because I don't think I am at the minute. Who Even, would you say is? I don't know. Not me. <laughs> Interestingly, when you sat there with that trophy, but obviously those are your, your valid thoughts. And finally, um, going forward, this rivalry, do you think that will continue to, to happen with uh, with Luke Humphreys, somebody you're going to continue to meet in major finals? We're going to meet plenty of times, whether it's on the floor or on the stage. <coughs> and I'm sure if we both get to the final, we'll have a, another cracking final like we have the past two times. Okay, and thanks, Matt. Thanks. And that's it, yeah. So Thank well, you. Thank we'll just let everyone else have a go. Cheers, Thank mate. you. Luke, can I just ask, um, would you swap that trophy for a Premier League title with Man United? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> What, what, do, what do you think Man United need to do now then to, to win the title? Obviously, you've done it. Can they follow in your footsteps? We'll see in two days' time, hopefully. <laughs> Jake, everyone seems to be talking about you as the, kind of, you know, the face of the sport and the ambassador of the sport. You know, they're talking about it on the TV as you're getting ready. Does that weigh on you at all, this idea of you as the, the ambassador for dance? And if, it, if, it, if you're happy to take on that role, how have you progressed the sport? Um, I don't really look at it but I'm one of the known players that are doing well at the minute we're all doing well but I'm doing even better okay. any, any more from the video part? Just one of them what does it feel to etch your name in history as well as the youngest winner of a PDC major? No way <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you are. it's just awesome. just another achievement and like like Abby said I've me and Phil Taylor have only had a nine data on the Premier League as well as the World Series. Okay, just Anthony as well, please. Uh, Luke, having watched them play against you many years ago in the Swinton League, uh, <laughs> from their formative years and watching you ascend to the top of the Premier League, you must be very proud of your accomplishments. Yeah, um, well, like you said, the Swinton League, um, those days I was out every day of the week, and obviously there was competitions on the weekend where you were at as well. Um, but that's where all the practice pays off, doing it every day. And do you think it was mainly from COVID where your practice game, where you upped your practice game phenomenally, played on Facebook Live way back then? Do you think that's just getting the reps in and that's what's built you up into this scoring monster? That's what, that's what really done it for me, COVID. I was just non-stop on the board. Um, as my, my older brother, he just stopped playing darts. Um, but if he continues to practice, the Maven too little as but there's only one. <laughs> and what does a 17-year-old do with £250,000? I don't know. <laughs> I'll find something. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Okay.